YouTube. Welcome back to Arabin Outdoors. Hey, I'm Arabin and I'm glad you're here. You've noticed I'm not outdoors. It's because it's a wet, nasty, miserable day outside. I decided it would be a good opportunity to do a video response to uh, Anthony over at Palmetto Prepared. And it's an open tag type of thing. He wants to know what we think are the five things that we have prepared that help us to sleep better at night. So, that's what this video is going to be about. I uh, wrote out my list, my final list, and this is what I'm going to go with. So, the five things that I prep for or that I have that make it easier for me to sleep at night in no particular order at all. The number one thing that makes it easy for me to sleep at night is a combination of trazodone and clonazepam. Uh, all joking aside, trazodone, clonazepam. Trazodone to help me sleep, clonazepam because I have severe restless leg syndrome. So, uh, number one, drugs. Number two on my list, I'm going to piggyback on uh, Anthony's, uh, one of his answers, which is a rural environment. The fact that I live in a rural environment, I don't live in a subdivision. I do have a network of neighbors, which I all know, and we, we've got each other's back. Most of them are elderly people because this is old family land. So the fact that I don't have to worry about that mob or gang mentality in the event of some kind of civil unrise, uprising or anything like that. Um, also the fact that for example, I mentioned it in another video with this coronavirus or any type of pandemic. Being in a rural area where you're not exposed to as many people to begin with lessens the likelihood of an outbreak or contagion for you and your family. We can hunker down and even if we have to go to the store are limited, we're limited in contact with people. So being in a rural environment helps me to sleep at night. Plus, it's so quiet at night. All you hear are the crickets and the frogs and the breeze. It's so peaceful. And uh, yeah, so rural environment, number two. Number three, I used to always laugh at my brother. My older brother, he passed away in 2007. He was a great man. I miss him every day. He was known for sleeping with a gun under his pillow. And for a long time I laughed at him and never understood that. He was my older brother. Now I find myself doing the same exact thing. Right here in my chair, this arm lifts up. And here I will find my Smith & Wesson SD9VE, my weapon of choice. 9mm in a concealment carry, concealment express inside the waistband holster. When I am up during the day, and out during the day in the house it stays in the arm of this recliner it's hidden people come to visit they would have no idea that I have a gun right here well where is this gun at night it's under my pillow and I have with the lymphedema and the trach and everything, I have to sleep with two pillows and my head elevated anyway. So having this 
under my pillow, I don't feel it. It doesn't obstruct my sleep. But I sleep better knowing that it's right there. So, number three, having this guy right there where I sleep. In addition to that, knowing that should I need more than that, okay, in the middle of the night, I can reach right over here and grab Aria. Aria is my AR-15, and it is a Ruger AR-15, and uh, it stays right beside the bed right now for this video it's here beside my chair but usually it's in the corner right by my bed in case I need a little bit more than what the Smith & Wesson 9 mil can offer so, alright so let's move on to number four number four I'm gonna say um, I can sleep better at night knowing that I have a good supply of food and water backed up. In the event of some severe weather, hurricane, tornado, flooding, extreme long-term power outage, uh, whatever the situation, I feel comfortable that my wife and I could live for at least 30 days on the food supplies that I have built up slowly over time. So, four food water supply for at least 30 days helps me to sleep better at night. Now, number five it's going to be kind of also related. Well, they all are related to preps. But I would say that my organizational skills regarding my preps would help me sleep better at night. The fact that everything that we have prepped is very centrally located in one place, easy to get to, knowing what I have, how to use it, where it is, how to get to it, and also if I have to take that and relocate it, it's packaged in ways that that is possible. Everything has a place, every place is centralized. My plan is always, and I feel, but it's always better to bug in, hunker down, as opposed to bugging out. I can store a lot more food in my kitchen pantry than I can in the trunk of a car. Okay? I can keep a lot more guns and ammo in my house than I can in the trunk of a car. You get my point. Bugging out is the last option. So, Number five is organizational skills. Alright, so there you have it. That's my response to Palmetto Prepared's, uh, I don't know if it's a tag or not, but uh, he wanted to know. So there you go. Hey, now I'm curious. I want to know, what are the five things that you have prepared that make it easier for you to sleep at night? Anyway, I appreciate you guys coming along on Airbnb Outdoors. And I appreciate all of you who have subscribed to my channel. If you haven't already subscribed. What are you waiting for? Guys, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. And until next time, keep calm, carry on, and keep it outdoors.